Hey guys, welcome back Clapinic here and today I'm going to show you how to do toggleable events in Bucket. So at the moment I have this plugin where every time I move it says uh, my cur current location which is nice but I don't want that to happen every time. I want to do a certain command and then that can happen. So I want to show you how to do that so um, I guess I'll jump into Eclipse now. Alright guys, so we're now in Eclipse and this is my main class right here and it has its own enable methods and all that. And then in here, this is my um, event class, so when the player moves it says the coordinates and the location of the player. And then right here, here's my move command, which I didn't demonstrate at the beginning, but this is a command which will allow us to use or like view our coordinates in chat. So this is a this is a command that will be toggleable. So the first thing we want to do is create an array list. Now an array list is essentially an array. Um, you can think of it like that. So the way we do this is we do public static uh, list, and then in here we're going to do uuid, and then what you want to do is you want to do toggle list. That's what we're going to call it, and then we're going to do uh, equals new array list and then we're going to do uuid again and then uh, close that off so this is going to be holding the uuid in other words uh, the u unique id of um, each player that does the command so every player that wants to view the coordinates in chat will be within this toggle list and we hold the player within this toggle list using its UUID. So what we want to do now is do Control Shift O to import the array list and um, the list. And you want to import util java.util.list. And yep, everything is fine now. So now what we want to do is access this toggle list in our uh, command class. So whenever we do the command, we want uh, we want the player to be added to the toggle list. So we can do this by doing an if statement. So if, uh, actually we can, yeah, yeah. Uh, we can find what our main class is called as well. So ours is called tog toggle events. So I'm just going to copy that because I can't be bothered typing it and go back into here. So toggle events dot and then toggle list. So we're accessing our toggle list through in our move command class and then what we can do is um, if the toggle list dot contains and player dot get unique id so if the toggle list contains um, this player whoever's doing it um, their id then we can say actually we can do a inverse thing here so if they they're not um, inside of the list then we can say uh, give them a message so we can do player.send message um, chat color dot green um, you uh, coords has been turned on so if they're not in the list um, we'll say the coordinates has been turned on and then we want to add the player to this toggle list so we do this by accessing toggle list dot toggle list again or toggle events dot toggle list and then dot add and then we can do player dot get unique id again all right so that's if the player isn't within the toggle list. What if they are? So we can do else. This is going to return a boolean right here, so we don't have to do an else if. We can just do else, um, and we can check if. Oh no, we can add. We can send. Give the player a message again. Send message. Chat color dot red. I guess this time to say turned off. Coords has been turned off. Okay. And then we can um, remove them. So dot uh, uh, toggle list dot remove um, 
player dot get unique ID. So now that will remove the player's ID from the list. So now what we can do is we can use it in our event. Um, so if we go back into here, this is my event. So we only want this to be shown to players who are within the list because in here we've said only add them to the list if they want to turn it on. So what we can do is we can go if um, what is it? Uh, toggle events dot toggle list dot contains and player dot get unique ID. So if they are within the list, that means they want uh, coordinates, their coordinates to be displayed in their chat. So then we can uh, go ahead and execute this code right here. So I'll just format this a bit better. Um, how do we want this like that, like that? So we want all this code right here to be triggered if they are within the list. So that's pretty much it. If they're within the list, it will um, execute this code. If they're not, it will do nothing. So yeah. So I guess I can export this and I'll see you in the game. Alright guys, so we're back in game and as you can see I'm moving around and I'm not getting spammed in chat with the coordinates. But now if I do slash coords, which is what I set it to, um, I'm getting spammed again. So it tells me my coordinates in chat when I do the coords command and if I do it again, it says coords has been turned off. And the good thing about this is it works with multiple players. So um, if I have it, I can have it off but someone else can have it on. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and also learned something. If you did, please smack the like button and maybe even subscribe. And I'll see you next time.